live from JW Solar USA. We are using a top cooker right now just to uh, run on the uh, inverters on our off grid solar system. This is what it is, and we uh, boiling corn. This is not from our farm, no, we bought it from the store. So, check this out the inverter is running, and we're doing the laundry and uh, the freezer, the refrigerator. They're all running. Stay tuned. Check this out. Like and subscribe. As you can see here, and guys, there you go. Um, that's a setting right there. It's a freezer. You guys seen this one? Chest freezer. And saving all our food, our fish, and all the veggies and all the goodies here. These are all for all the other things. Shrimp. So it's on. See, it kind of it's gonna look weird, like I was saying before. You can see the light, like you know, blinking. It's running. That's the setting. So we don't use this freezer all the time. So I don't have to go max or mid. So I just set it just very close to the mid, so it runs when uh, it's supposed to. But it's frozen. If I can pop it, you guys can see all the steams coming from the thing. See, that it's frozen. And you see all the veggies and the fish and all bagged up. So this is the inside of the uh, freezer, right? This is where the fridge is plugged in because um, the uh, wire came all the way here. That's the fridge and that's the wall outlet, which is the grid. We are, we're not on the grid, so we are right there. That's the, the fridge. These are all the stuff in there, you know, they have a filet of um, catch fish, tilapia fish and greens, codfish and corn back there. You know, if you some things you don't eat, don't just waste them, you store them, alright? They're all here, this is the, 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 the house freezer, the refrigerator, sorry, refrigerator and freeze, freeze freezer refrigerator and freezer this is the top side of it all right so all kind of stuff is there there's a smoke fish here dry smoke fish and all the other stuff here you want to see and uh, all the goodies so store things if you don't eat them and just freeze them these are all the stuff we're gonna be prepping for all the winter because uh, it's hard to get this kind of stuff on winter unless you live in Alaska or the places where you can buy. You can fish, you know, well, whatever. But these are salt watered fish. All right? That's all I can eat. I don't do any of this pond fish you people call lakes or whatever it is. No. I eat uh, freshwater fish or pond. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Or salt water fish. That's it from the ocean. It's all frozen. See the steam coming out? Cold. This is the other side of it. This is the refrigerator, the bottom part. You can see all my juice. I got garlic there. We store the garlic into, um, was it water? No. Vinegar? Just by itself. Just by itself. So it's, uh, it's in the can. You see, the garlic is there. And just like that. So. French onion, sour cream, that's for my wife. All the goodies and everything is all vegetables. So if you don't eat any carrot or uh, potatoes and all that good stuff, and well, <laughs> you don't survive in this house. And it's uh, ginger. We store the ginger in there, fresh ginger, and all the stuff. And these are all um, baked and fried. I think it's fried. It's fried um, fish, chicken, no chicken, sorry, <laughs> fish, or well, it's fried or baked. I think she baked them. So, guys, uh, all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff, rice. So, this is what it is. I'm just showing you, and I set up this refrigerator. This is how you set up your machines to work properly. I got it to the recommended um, uh, uh, thing right there. You don't have to freeze anything here. And you don't have to run this thing like, you know, you're going to be 
defrosting it and use the microwave as well as you go so you don't want to go too much it's cold you don't want to just be too much wasting electricity a small fridge uh, sorry a small uh, microwave so just not too big you don't need a big stuff you don't need anything too big so if you're trying to be off-grid or trying to be more energy efficient or sustainability or you know how to do it you gotta go with uh, simple things like that you know this is what it is a sunbeam uh, toaster it's just for two people you can see right th right there and it's all powered solar powered now I gotta check the corn if it's already Ooh, look at that so this is ready I'm gonna do some munching here guys JW Solar is cooking, so I'm just trying to show you what how we prep in a, in this house. You can eat the corn, and I can survive or sustain myself for the rest of the day just corn. I don't have to eat all kind of stuff, you know, eat too much or whatever. You gotta learn how to prepare yourself, you know, uh, for for in case of something else happen. You don't have to eat the way you used to eat. So you guys remember this? This is our um, Hamilton Beach. Um, you guys have seen a lot of my video tests you know, on um, on uh, induction loads and whatever. I've shown a lot of videos into this, so you guys know what it is. Here goes, here goes the kitchen, and you can see we started getting some fillet here. These are um, codfish, and you guys can see all the other good stuff here. We're in a strainer just to get this in after that. We're gonna be getting this one and we we want to bake that we baking stuff put all the season and throw it put some little um butter or whatever it is or uh, you know throw it in the in the uh, in the oven and baked it here you can see lettuce and uh we have an avocado here and um look at that and um we have a uh, old green hundred percent uh bread so i have a a sandwich here i'm gonna be sample later get a bread already toasted on this toaster right here the sunbeam so let's go to the laundry and see how things go oh before i go you guys saw um the harvest today um these are the peppers you see uh, this is what we got from the from the tree so check this out we got some bananas and apples and oranges and guys this is what it is and check this out I got some beets sorry um, we got some relish I don't know why I call beets it has been a while we have that one maybe that's why you got some relish and all that kind of stuff and these are the bananas and oranges apple and goes here you can see the codfish and all that good stuff ready to be prepped and check this out lettuce and avocado and you got the bread right here and here goes the corn all right guys let's go back and check the laundry back in the laundry room with JW Solo USA we have a GE machine here and we sort of check for precise uh, feel for the water. We're washing right now. We're almost a full load. Washing on the cold water. It's all run on solar. And I'm gonna show you. Um, this is the dryer right here, which is a General Electric as well. GE. You see that right there. So there we go. Let's go to the solar and check it out. The, the command center and see what power we're making or what power we pulling now. We're back here now, the command center of the JW Solar USA. This is how the system looks, guys. And you see the corn is already done cooking, so we shut that one off. And the washer is doing its thing. And you see the freezer, the refrigerator is running. They don't take anything. The, everything here is energy efficient. So the uh, energy efficiency is really good. So guys, check this out. It's late in the evening now, but look. This is the power we're pulling right now. It went up to about 33. 
amps yeah we're sitting at uh we're sitting at 29.6 volt so we pulling this is what we pulling right now from the from the DC side let's go to AC check it out so pusher that's a DC going DC is gonna tell the volts he's gonna see the power bounce about 40 something because the washer is going to see it trickle it flips in back and forth because of the washer and let's go back here and go to the AC you see 122 volt 60 Hertz and let's see look at that that's the amps coming AC amps so about the highest I've seen over 88 oh no 8 amps 7 to 8 amps jumping around because of the washer is gone no something like that so that's what he's doing so we're in good shape here this will take us a very long time and um like I said, we have terrible weather now in Minnesota. The we're seeing an eighty-eight percent state of charge. We don't have sun today at all. The sun is kind of it came out, but well, not too, not much. But everything is going. I'm doing other things. Um, I'm charging that portable generator thing on the system because those batteries, those tests is over with all that uh, twelve volt system. So I just have to put it together, and right now I'm cha charging those batteries with the solar, so the power is coming back here. And uh, guys, this is what it is. You see, look at the amps coming out. So it goes about 24, 20, 33. So let me show you other thing. Was well, charging the 12 volt system with the solar. All right, we're back here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Guys, check this out. I got to turn this uh, flashlight on and you guys can see. Um, this is the 12 volt, the VMAX. The VMAX tank um, is a 1220 DC 1220A. That's a, a 12 volt 20 amp charger. And you guys have seen this before. If you haven't seen this, go back and check. These are the good, good chargers. They are intelligent chargers um the ic chargers so check this out it's seven mode it does seven mode that um it operates on so look at that so you gotta pass all the tests after that's gonna do the desulfating so these are the batteries i was testing guys you see these are just eight batteries here one two three four five six oh six batteries sorry six batteries so I just opened this one and let me take you here you can see it's pulsing it's charging that means it's on uh, number four I suppose yep number four so number four right there let's see if you can see it all right see the light is flashing on four that means let's check here number four what number four is is on absorb See that number four says absorption right there so these are cool machines just want to show you what the solar can do and um, thanks for watching guys and uh, this is the 12 volt system I was testing guys I was showing you and I hope and this is just a box in there just a lot of mess I took the inverter back in there and all bunch of thin and shunt over there so I disconnected a bunch of stuff. I took the Midnight Classic 150 out. So, guys, this is what it is. All right. So I'm gonna store these batteries now. I'm done doing the test here. I'm getting you something you're gonna be seeing soon here. So stay tuned for that as I'm bringing you more coverage live at the command center of the JW Solo USA. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, before I forgot. Did you guys notice we just hit over 7,000 subscribers? I want to thank you guys for all that. 7,000 subscribers. We are heading to the big game, though. We're heading there. So, we're heading to the Super Bowl.
the 10,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you guys for everything, everything you guys have done, participating, commenting, and following me all these years along. And I love you guys all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.